All right, hello users, we're in a rapid prototyping session and uh, we're gonna go over some more mocks in Figma here. And the first thing I wanted to point out, Greg, something that you said yesterday in the, in the user session and our lunch session was that a table of contents would be great for the summary results page here because what we're going to show is a bunch of key concepts and some of these key concepts have tons of story tiles. So, you know, this trademark one might have 59 Maybe this license agreement has 93 and the height of the page where you're scrolling, scrolling within here is gonna get huge. So something you mentioned is that you really like to know where on the page you are. And we added this table of contents here on the left to show you exactly what section of the page you're on. So for instance, if I open one of these key concepts, you'll see that we're now within the global business key concept. And then that's what gets highlighted here on the left within the table of contents so you know exactly what section and what key concept you're in. I didn't envision showing every single story tile within this, but if there's something a level below, like a level within this global business section that you would like to see, we would love to know that as well. Um, yeah, I think that's it for just the table of contents section. Anybody have anything to add on that? It's great to see you listening to uh, uh, the user's feedback yesterday and showing an update today. So Greg, be very curious to know what, what you think about the way that we heard you. Awesome. Uh, continuing on, I added a little bit more to the story tiles within a key concept here. So now each of these is expandable accordion style. So you could imagine um, this tile would start closed like this with just the title and then you would click it and it would expand like this to show the entire content of the story tile. So this one is text, and then there's a view shareable link option down here. And then I'll try to get to this. I also had a, a video UI in here as well. So let me see if I can get to that. I think if I, look, I'm so many layers deep now that I'm going too far horizontally. Okay, so if I show the video, yeah, it's not, the layout isn't exactly correct, but if it was a video story tile, it would show the section of the video within the tile here as well. Um, and like we talked about yesterday, this is just allowing users to kind of drill deeper into individual key concepts and then into the actual story tile that makes up that key concept. And then same thing with the videos, you would have the shareable link down here. Um, and there might be more data about this video as well, like the actual time section of the full video where the story tile was generated from. Um, one, one thing, mm -hmm. one quick thing, Ryan, that would be um, pretty great for uh, video-based content would be that when the story tile is closed, oops, didn't need to make an ankle blind here, but basically there's a, a, like a thumbnail of the, of the video when the story tile is closed. And then when it's open, you can kind of get the whole thing, something like that. Right, that's a good idea. I'll add that as a comment. And then one other thing that I think it was Don said yesterday at the user group was like wanting the ability to delete the story tell result. And I don't know if we wanted to have, you know, like a delete button up here, uh, you know, something mm. like that. Oh, would this be for the full summary report? What I what I heard Don say, yeah, I think it was Don. What, what I heard him say yesterday was, I or it might have been Jared actually because he was talking about working with some sensitive PDFs, right? And it's like, well, ideally, I can log in as a user, and it's, it's just available to me. You know, just like if I log into my bank, it's just available. Like you can't get into my banking information, but we haven't built that yet. But one thing that we could do is just have the ability for the user to delete all the story tell result data. Because I, I uploaded a PDF from my computer and then now it's technically there's a URL where anybody can see that. I might not want that. So I might want to just be able to nuke it all. And does that make sense? Right, yep, it does. So I don't know that that delete button like that would be the best way to do it, but just oh. some way to give the user the ability to remove it all. And I guess this is still part of the same uh, recording mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Uh, so on that note, I like uh, lots of folks 
since we, you know, created our Chrome extension and have had periods of being able to see previous summaries have asked to be able to delete reports. Um, so just wondering if that's the experience you'd want to have. Yeah, majority, yeah. I think it's a good idea to have it up here. You know, maybe we, there might be multiple actions that a user could take on a report. So it'd probably be like a drop down right here and they'd be able to select it. Okay, yeah. great idea. Mm -hmm. like yeah, maybe you can favor it. Right, yeah, something like that. Only other thing to share here is that I added a banner for uh, pointing the user to the Chrome extension. So basically, uh, take your take Storytel with you while you browse the web with our Chrome extension. So they'll you know they'll get familiar to this chat interface, and then they can check out our Chrome extension as well. Um, this is this last screen is basically the same thing I shared yesterday, which is that you can select multiple, and then there'll be different actions you can take. So either delete them from this uh, key concept or create another uh, summary based on these tiles, things like that, that we're starting to think about. I think that's it for this one. So thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any feedback on any of the features that we shared. Thanks. And thank you everyone who showed up yesterday. Thank you.